Hey everybody, we're here at the van show talking to my friend Carmen Didi. Say hi Carmen. Hey guys. Hey. hey. So Carmen, we want to know about you. So where are you from? Oh, you're starting with the basic stuff. Oh well, yeah. Let's yeah. see. I was born in Cuba, in Ooh, Havana, wow. in 19, I forget. <clears throat> hmm, okay. And I came to the United States when I was um, three years old. And I grew up in a little town in the south called Decatur, Georgia. Ooh, wow. So you, you took a big trip as a young child. I took a big trip and it was very different. Everything was new, everything was strange, everything was different. But slowly, I got used to it. I got used to different food and different way of speaking. And I did not speak no English, so I had to talk, learn the English. It sounds like that when you first learn a language. Oh, yeah? Yes. See, you bring the sounds from your first language into your second language. So how did you say yes? Yes. Yes. Say it, children. Yes. Yes. It's a beautiful. <laughs> Do you, you, is that, you is that how English yes. sounds, um, then? If you yeah. learn Spanish, if English is your, your first language? Yeah. Really? So, so, so when I say bueno, Let's do it again. I sound silly. No, it, no, right? no, no. It's not silly any more than I sound silly when I say very good. Oh, you but, don't sound silly. Well. It sounds different. It sounds different. And it sounds funny in a way, but ready. So if I said, um, for example, okay. if, I have, if I speak Spanish first, as I did as a child, um, I would say, it's so nice to meet you, hello, and it sounds kind of funny. But okay. if it were English and you were trying to say it in Spanish, it'd sound like this. Ready? Ready? Okay, here we go. Estoy muy feliz de conocerles. Hola. <laughs> okay, I see what you mean there. Yeah. So you just bring the sounds from your first language. Does it matter if it's, if it's Mandarin Chinese or if it's, um, if it's Russian or if it's French? Those sounds come into your next language for a long time. Sometimes wow. they stick. Now, Carmen, what do you do for a living? I write books for little rotten stinky kids. Wow. Yeah. There's, so you know what? It's about time somebody's writing books for the rotten stinky kids. Yeah. Oh, there's you see plenty children, of books for the, I love you too. Yes. Well, there's plenty of books for the sweet smelling kids, but the rotten stinky kids, they need books too. I think their time has come. That's right. It's time for rotten stinky kids to unite. <laughs> well, no, you, you don't want them to form like, no, if they, if they organize, we are in so much trouble. Oh, oh. yeah. That, the smell alone. <laughs> well, speaking as a former rotten stinky kid. <laughs> Did you get into trouble as a kid? Mm -hmm. Next question. <laughs> so, Carmen, do you, do you want to tell us what got you interested in writing? Yeah. Um, I started by loving stories. When I was a little girl, I loved them. And then I grew oh, a little bit bigger, still love them. A little bit bigger. A grown-up, still love them. Love to hear them, love to read them, love to watch them in a film, love to hear a joke or a haiku. I could sit in a Waffle House all day long and just listen to people tell stories. Wow, really? Mm -hmm. That's great. You know what? The reason I do this show is because I love learning about people and about new cultures and new things. And I like talking to people about it. It must be very similar. Um, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And because we do what we love every day, yeah. even on your hard day, is a really great day. That's right. So that, there, by golly. So there, by golly. But writing <laughs> came later. And it came when my little girls got interested in books, picture books. I have three daughters, Katie, Aaron, and Lauren. And they're all grown now and have children of their own. But, um, well, two of them have children and one has a dog. Ah, but pretty, pretty similar. Yeah. But in any event, when my girls were very small, we went to the library. Oh, the library. My favorite place. Mm -hmm. And I learned about picture books when I was a mom. Really? Because when I was little, I couldn't read English. I was going really well. to say, like, so... So I missed picture books. Yeah. I know. And then we went to the library and I went, oh my gosh. La La Crocodile, <gasps> Amelia Bedelia, Encyclopedia Brown, Yes, <gasps> Bye Bar, I love it. Make it's Way like... for Ducklings, Oh my goodness, Just Keep Going, Pokey Little Puppy, Kill Me Now. These are all my favorites. I know. Wow. Yeah. You got good taste in books. Well, I'm kind of a book omnivore. I don't know that I have good <laughs> taste. I just like eating them all. I bet you love books too, though. You have an insatiable appetite for books. Do you? Oh, of course I do. Definitely. I'm reading all the time. I live in the library. <gasps> How lucky is that? You are one lucky little blue furry guy. <laughs> and I'm lucky to know you. Next oh, question, my friend. Yeah. So, Carmen, what, uh, we want to talk about your new book. Can you tell us what it's called? It's called The Rooster Who Would Not Be Quiet. Ooh, okay. Ooh. I'm interested. Please go on. Tell us, uh, tell us a little bit. Now, no spoilers, but uh, just yeah, a just teaser. a teaser. Well, there's a lovely little town called La Paz, and um, there's just one little problem. It's very noisy. 
Oh. Oh, it's so noisy. Fountains they warble in, mothers croon, <laughs> and you know, in cars, <laughs> honk, and people, uh, everyone sings in the shower, Figaro, Figaro, and it's just, it's impossible to think or hear or sleep. So they didn't know what to do, hmm. and um, they fired the mayor. Yeah. Like well, you do. Okay, yeah. And now they were a really noisy place without a mayor. Hmm. Enter the dreadful Don Pepe. Pepe. Mm -hmm. And thanks to Don Pepe, things became very, very quiet. Oh. Very, very, very quiet. He instituted a shushin policy. He's a big shusher. Shh. He's a shusher from way back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, singing gives him indigestion. Uh-oh. Mm. And things become very quiet until one day a noisy little rooster comes into town. And he doesn't know anything about the laws in that town. And he oh. starts to sing. Uh-oh. And don't worry, children. The rooster will be all right in the end. <laughs> all right, come on. Okay. Never have I ever... Ridden in a fire truck. Ho, 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 look at that. Wow, I've never ridden in a fire truck. How did you get to do that? Do I have to tell you this? Well, I mean, yes. <laughs> Children do not do this. <laughs> That's when right, I disclaimer. I was eight or nine years old, my mom, I was the only one at home. My dad was working, my sister was at ballet or something. And um, my mom had a gas leak, and so she sent me to the, to the fire station. It was only three houses down. Okay. And she said, Hurry, get me a fireman. We got a problem. And I'm like, what? Gas. Well, I didn't know what that meant. I figured yeah. she'd sent me to the, you know, the drugstore. I thought it was like her tummy had a problem. Oh, but no. <laughs> different kind of gas. Different kind of gas. <laughs> she sent me down the street, and I went running in. Unfortunately, from the time I was a little girl, and we moved into that neighborhood van, I had been in love with a 1957 Red Seagrave fire truck. Ooh. And when I set eyes on it, and I was so close I could touch it, I forgot all about my mother. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. Well, I did tell the fireman what happened, and they put me on the truck, and we went <gasps> flying down my street. It was amazing, and we passed my house. And I should have told them, and I did after about a block or five. <laughs> you were having a little too much fun on that truck? <laughs> it was amazing. Plus, my mom was in the yard. She was perfectly safe. Oh, By the time right. we got back, my mom was in the middle of the road doing this, right? <laughs> oh. I had to wash windows in that firehouse for about the next five years. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. She was a little mad, I take it. Do the crime, do the time. <laughs> or she would say, do the crime, do the time. Okay. That's right. Lesson okay. be learned. Lesson. Bye. Adios. Adios. Hasta luego. <laughs>